And now, download Thursday with Marquette Smith. As you just heard, it's time for the Thursday download segment. Today, reporter Marquette Smith is tackling the issue of cyberbullying. And we understand there are some actual high school students who are trying to tackle this issue. Yes, and that's what makes this program so unique. This is not a school program. The students spoke up and said, we want to do something because everybody can really be a victim of cyberbullying. So students at Oxon Hill High School take a stand against cyberbullying. They are working to get negative comments about their classmates removed from the internet. It all started back in November when an anonymous bully began targeting students on Facebook using something called a smut page. The content of the so-called smut page was so hurtful in one case that it led to a student uh, it led to a student trying to attempt suicide. And that's when a group of upperclassmen, they banded together and said, enough is enough. This is the Oxen Hill Burn page. And it was a spin on the popular teen movie Mean Girls where they had a burn book. 12th grader Terrence Odom explains how the smut pages work. And what they did was they took people's profile pictures. They basically just put comments about the person, their appearance, sexual orientations, anything that they could do to demean the person. They want to hurt you. Paul Ed Brown is the teacher who advises the school's student-led anti-bullying group. She decided to get involved when the cyberbully hit close to home, attacking a student who is also a family friend. Her mother called me and told me that her daughter had attempted suicide because someone had invaded her, her, um, her Facebook page. And after that, a modern day witch hunt for the anonymous bully began, a whodunit that sparked outrage across the campus. They were um, just going crazy because my name, who put my name, they didn't know who actually created the pages. So nobody at the school currently really knows who started all of this? No, there's ideas about who the person could be and that actually causes more problems because there's retaliation. After we had the smut page incident, um, a student of ours was jumped in the bathroom because they thought that a certain student made the page. And I think our class just decided enough was enough. There was um, fights occurring because of it. So she got together with a group of her classmates and started One Less Bully, One More Friend. One Less Bully, One More Friend. It's trying to help people make the decision to not participate in activities like that. Don't start the page. Don't comment on the page. If you see something, say, you know, this is wrong. That's the point. It's to raise awareness and help people understand that we don't have to we don't have to act this way tell me what really moved you to become an active member of this group i'm really like um a compassionate soft-hearted person so i kind of felt a little bit of empathy towards the people who were being bullied so i decided that it was time to definitely take a stand and be on the side of the people who couldn't really stand up for themselves so how do you get them to stop um well most of the time most of the time, people's friends will tell them, like, you know, you're, you're a bully. And I think with that, that opens up a lot of people's eyes. If someone came up to me who I did not know and told me I was a bully, I'd be like, yeah, okay. But if it were my friend, someone who I trust, someone who I tell everything to, I would really take it into, into consideration. Like, okay, and step back and look at the bigger picture and try to see what I can change. And according to the iSafe Foundation on Internet Safety, one in every four young people have experienced cyberbullying multiple times. And Patty and Rochelle, the girl who attempted suicide, I found out that she is okay. She transferred to another school and it's a better environment for her. That's great. Mm -hmm. So.